I am Dr. Samah Munir Nisim Tayab, specialist in cardiology in an NMC charger. We will talk about the dyslipidemia as a risk factor for the heart attack. What is the definition of dyslipidemia? Dyslipidemia is increasing of total cholesterol and LDL, which is called the bad cholesterol and triglyceride. All of them are risk factors for the heart attack. When we need to reduce the incidence of heart attack, we need to manage and control all these risk factors for the dyslipidemia. How to diagnose the dyslipidemia? First, by the symptoms of dyslipidemia, the patient coming with headache, dizziness, easy fatigue, tiredness, and sometimes chest pain. That's why after that, we'll starting to take lab rip test for the dyslipidemia, which is showing the total cholesterol high and LDL high and the triglyceride high. And then your cardiologist will enroll with you in the risk factor and risk score to know you are in the category of very high risk or moderate risk or intermediate risk or low risk. This risk factor or this risk score is the doctor should be enrolling your age, gender, blood pressure, smoker or not, and total cholesterol. And after that, we'll get the result which category you are. And then we'll see if you're starting from the very high risk category, all of them which is have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, family history of heart attacks, family history of hypertension before, all these ones are a very high risk factor, and we should be starting the medication for controlling the lipid profile to reduce the incidence of the heart attacks.